Deep within the mountains of Virginia are hidden streams that house a special species of fish, the native brook. Today, we will be stepping into the unknown as we hike raw mountain terrain in our search for these native fish. I got one. Yeah, you're getting bit. That's a freaking giant. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, we are literally venturing into the unknown. I don't even know where this creek is. We could tell on the map, it looks like we need to go this way straight. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we find water and don't get lost in the forest. These mountains are huge and we would literally never be found. <laughs> and it's cold. So but hopefully we have some success. We didn't have to walk very far. It's right here. I think we go this way. Um, I don't know how we're going to go this way, but we're going to try. You want your fishing pole? We're gonna keep on heading up stream and uh, hopefully we run into some good holes along the way full of fish. This way. Keep walking up. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. It's like a fairy tale. Enchant it. Yeah, enchanting. All right, all these leaves and stuff, we really have to watch our step because we can cover up some holes and stuff you don't want to step into. Look how clear this water is. This is just the perfect habitat for a brookie. We'll keep going. Ooh, spider web. All right, we're gonna cast right here. I'm just gonna stand back and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Neighbor, catch a tree. Catch something. See, here's a hole to cast into. I f***ed it up. Good luck. Because <laughs> you'll get that. Just walk up to it. Why can't I get this off? It's wild to me. I really struggled with that. Try again. That wood right there, I just feel like there's going to be a fish here. Oh, Maddie got one. Let's come over here and help her. Target species. This is what we come for right here. And this is indeed a native. They like to inhabit water that is clean. And that's why you usually find them in these hidden little mountain streams. It's technically not a trout. They are starfish. Beautiful though. In terms of freshwater fish, I do not think it gets any prettier. All right, let's let this little one go. Beautiful. First fish. Had his beautiful colors, Sydney. Mission accomplished. That is so awesome. Let's keep going. Did you find the net? Great. I came down here to see Maddie's fish and um, I left the net. And the problem with that is it's blended in pretty well. So it has to be somewhere in this area. Did we leave it back at the other place? I can't believe I lost the net. All right, you guys, we're gonna move on. What if there was one right here? That'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, it always could be. Stranger things have happened. Be careful. You can do it, I did it. Should I go up here and then here? Don't slip, but yeah. All right, hold my hand. I got you. There Thank you. Go. you. Let's go. If you, uh, have little spots like this to get out and go explore, I highly encourage you to do it. Ain't this fun? I feel like a kid again. This tree's been struck by lightning. She got struck hard, it like split her, but she's healed over time right here. Scar tissue on her. All right, big grassy, you still thriving? You can tell it flows over here sometimes, but we're actually under a drought. Our rivers and creeks are pretty low. I think we should get one right here. Oh, okay. I got to sight it. My first catch of the day, a stick. The rare stick fish. We'll let him go. Release him. There is one in here. He bit me, but I think I might have turned him off. All right, move on to the next hole. 
I will try not to blow my opportunity again. Oh, I almost had another one. I'm gonna try right here on this rock. Maddie says they're right here against this waterfall. So we're gonna see if we can make something happen. Uh, I got a bite. Oh. Yeah, you're getting bit. Yeah, I know. Just gotta time it right to get him. Let's move up and try another hole. I just kinda wanna explore this creek while we have time. Look at this, guys. Literally standing on top of a mountain right now. Or kind of in a mountain on top of it. So I'm gonna try here while you try there, cover more ground. When I walk away from Maddie is usually when she catches the fish. So I'm gonna bring her some good juju right now and walk away. Got another one. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Beautiful. For our little streams, these guys don't usually get very big, so this is a much better one. There he goes. On downstream. Yeah, right back from where he came. Awesome job. Now I need to get one. Yeah, you do. Was lucky enough to get a bite by one. They're not very easy to catch, especially natives. Our state does stock them too, but it's much further downstream, not really up in the mountain like this. All right, I'm gonna cross because it looks like it might be a little hole over there. I'm gonna go check that out. I'll let you know if it's worth it, okay? It's definitely not worth it. <laughs> it's like an inch deep. this way just try these little holes right here then we'll probably start working our way back down i would love more time to really uh explore this whole little creek but um definitely worth the trip out here today I'm trying to really take my time oh hmm. i don't think it's worth casting right there I think this might be the end of the road for us, guys. I mean, there is more walking to do, but I don't know if uh, we really have the time. Huh, gotta leave. All right, I'm gonna cross and walk around that way and then head back to Maddie. Actually getting kind of hot now when you get out here and really get to moving. Gosh, guys, this is pipe. Oh, look at this spot, y'all. All right, we're gonna catch another one right here. Oh, I had it. Well, guys, that was a missed opportunity. He probably ain't gonna bite again. That would have been my third one of the day. Dang. Oh, I had him again. What? How am I gonna miss two fish? What a bummer. It looked like a nice size one too, the second one that got off. Whew, this little stream really goes on up here. Seriously, a hike. I don't think there's probably gonna be anything right here. You never know. Ah, all right, let's see if I can save my bait. <clears throat> Come on, I'm so close. Cool, got it. All right, I'm gonna look up here. Oh, wow. And I'm about to show you guys 
why even if you don't catch fish why stuff like this is so worth it i'm gonna go ahead and put on the yellow trout magnet the brown's been working but fishing in the same hole i want to spend a little bit more time here and i'm thinking maybe if i switch over to yellow they'll think it's something completely different and bite again maybe i mean they seem pretty eager to eat i'm not sure if, if i hooked them a little bit or if they just had the tail of the trout magnet so we're going to change our presentation here make them think it's something completely different let's try that Oh, that was a powerful bite. See, that's what I meant. You changed that presentation. That was a strong bite. That's a freaking giant. That's got to be a giant. That felt like a bass. Problem is, I keep missing them in this hole. I don't know why. I'm going to make my way up, but I'm definitely going to hit this hole on the way back. That was a killer bite. Guys, I don't know where Ray went. Now keep in mind, no trails, no nothing. We've been walking the mountain, hiking up the mountain, following this little stream. And look what we just came across. Sites like that to make it all that much more worth it. This is, hole's pretty shallow. I'm sure if we stuck around, we might be able to pick off a small fish or two, but there's plenty of holes back this way. This is mainly just for the view. So let's go. I'm coming back to you. Or did you want to try it? Okay. But this is the end of the road. Keep a casting. This has just been fun so far and well worth the trip for the sights alone. Oh, shit. unless I fall and break my leg, then it wasn't worth it. Yep. come up here and make it look easy oh wow he's beautiful this one's really pretty he's dark yeah oh look at that fin I put a pink trout magnet on. I think they might be having trouble seeing that brown, even though um, they did get a few bites on it. It's not what I, I feel like I should be getting. So I'm gonna come right here and make a few casts back in this little pocket. They're so pretty. The prettiest fish in my opinion. She was like very dark and she had like tiger marks on her fin. Yeah, just a beautiful fish. I want to let it float kind of around this rock. Oh. Hey, oh, that's a good one. Nice. Okay, I might need Maddie's help because I'm caught in a tree. Y'all, I know I did the ooh, but I got to sight it. I'm not going to lie. All right, let me get my hands wet. We uh, lost our net, thanks to me and um, we only want to handle these. Maddie just got done wetting her hands, so her hands are soaked. So that's why she's going to get it off for me while I wet my hand. You got your hands wet? You ready for your fish? There is my first native, finally. All this time, I finally landed one. Well, seeing Maddie land them like she was gave me hold. There she goes. And just like that, we got one. It's all about getting out and exploring 
And that's exactly what we did today. Found this little creek on Google Maps and thought it looked like it was high enough in the mountain that the water would be super clean and support a healthy ecosystem for these little ones. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we walked all the way up this creek here until we got to a waterfall and couldn't really get around. Um, so we're going to go hit up another stream and hopefully catch some natives out of that too. So far it's been a success though. Oh, <laughs> I can't feel my skin. <laughs> yeah, it is really cold out here guys. We've layered up and moving around helps a little bit. There's the nut. Look what I found. Yes. You want to keep the net? Yeah. Because uh, I'll lose the net, clearly. All right, you guys. We decided to call it a day. The sun is officially starting to set. It's not completely gone down yet, but the main reason we were freezing. And we explored most of that little creek. We could have went further up, but the hill was pretty steep, and we didn't want to climb up the whole waterfall. So, of course, we always want to catch fish. But today was mainly about the exploring part, seeing if we could figure out some of these little um, hidden streams back in the mountains and figure out where to find these native fish at and we definitely had success but these fish guys they've been living in this area since the last ice age they've been here way before we had we couldn't wait to get out and show you guys how beautiful they really are it's my favorite fish just because it is our state fish and um they're, they're just so pretty anyways we're gonna call it we're heading home it's freezing we're gonna get warm thank you guys for watching and as always we will catch you in the next one